What's kicking guys? It's Fantasy the Hedgehog here and welcome back to another game not gameplay, uh sorry, uh reaction video. It's been a long time since I did a reaction video of uh what's up for my fantasy the hedgehog reaction so but today we'll be reacting to uh SCP 096 Shy Guy but in Sonic World. Oh boy <laughs> I guess we're about to see how who's the fastest then we already know how fast the shy guy is when someone like you know locks on, like sees him and the, he gets a lock on him and chases him around, but Sonic, you know, is super fast too, so it's gonna be like a race definitely. But oh, I'm hoping Sonic will survive that one, this one though. But without further ado, let's get into this gameplay video. Not gameplay, uh, sorry, reaction video. As most bad things do, with the evil mechanizations of one Dr. Evo Robotnik. This rotund mad scientist had been terrorizing the world of Sonic the Hedgehog and his animal friends for decades, with a single-minded task motivating his every diabolical action, getting his hands on the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald that controls their power. This yep. would allow him to strangle the natural beauty of the world around him and develop it into a cold, unfeeling world of machinery. None would survive. And uh, basically for his empire, that's what Eggman was, does. Point, far too many people had, in fact, survived his terrible wrath. For many, many years now, despite a multiplicity of evil plans, Sonic the Hedgehog and all his cool, super-powered animal friends had thwarted him countless times. No matter Definitely. how genius <laughs> his plots were, no matter how many or how powerful robots he, he built still to fight fails. on his behalf, he would always be defeated, and it was starting yep. to get extremely frustrating. It the was in this state wins. of near maddening rage and spite that Dr. Robotnik created what would soon become his most dangerous and deadly invention. A trans-dimensional snatcher, a device that would allow him to reach into other dimensions and pluck out dangerous beings, beings that would become living weapons, tools in his arsenal. Oh boy, like that's going too far now, Eggman. Eggman! Little did he know, he was about to tangle with a creature far more dangerous than anything he could ever hope to be. His mouth twisted into a devious grin, Dr. Robotnik stood in front of the He's gonna kill you too, Eggman, just so you know. You can't look out directly. Button. Yes, yes, this would be the perfect plan. Sonic would never stop him now. He pressed the button and watched as the machine gave a mighty, almost blinding flash. As the resulting smoke cleared, Dr. Robotnik saw the creature he'd summoned cowering on the platform before him. It was gray and emaciated, shivering and weeping, covering its face. Immediately, Dr. Robotnik's face fell. Was that it? Some weeping, stretched freak? He wanted something more exciting, like a giant killer lizard or monstrous zombie that melts everything it touches. What could possibly be the combat potential of this pathetic creature? In his frustration, look at it and uh, activate beast. It would be the last or doing that too. Made because the creature in question was, as you'd probably guessed, SCP-096. The shy guy. As any SCP Foundation enthusiast He's going to tear you to shreds now, Eggman. So, infamous we already know how fast Eggman is, is in the Sonic, face, you know, and the other Sonic game, is classic him. games. And, but Dr. Robotnik not sure how fast he's going to be for this one. <laughs> fatal mistake. As the crying turned into wails of rage, 096 leaped onto him, freakishly stretching its bottom jaw into a yawning black chasm of a mouth. Nearby, Sonic the Hedgehog, who was, of course, gliding along at the speed of sound, heard Dr. Robotnik's horrific screaming. He immediately recognized the scream as that of his arch enemy, and yet, the scream was so blood-curdling that even he couldn't deny it made him concerned for his old foe. Thankfully, it didn't take the blue super speedster very yeah, long. Yeah, sure. I don't think he's gonna let him die, too, you know. You know, he tried to do the table world many times, he's a hero, so a hero has to save people no matter what. Eerie silence had now fallen. Sonic felt a chill in the air. With uncharacteristic caution, he began He's dead by now. He's like a uh, rotting corpse at this enough, point. He's ripped he to shreds. Seeing blood on like walls. paper. Blood, but no bodies. What had happened here? Soon after, Sonic found out. He walked into the room that had once been the home to the transdimensional snatcher, where the shy guy sat crouched in the middle of an empty, bloody room, weeping. Something about all this was terribly wrong. Sonic could hear it. That's when one of his feet clanked against the metal floor, and the shy guy looked up to view him. Sonic almost felt the breath leave his body. No! They got a look at you, Jericho! never seen anything like it before. That's what. You better start running, Sonic! Had this monster murdered Dr. Robotnik? As though activated by the sudden intrusion, the shy guy gave a monstrous wail, then lunged towards Sonic. 
Luckily for Sonic, his incredible speed came in handy here, darting out of the monster's clutches and whizzing out of the base. But despite his speed, the shy guy somehow still seemed to have an innate sense of Sonic's location. It began to bound after him, yep. tearing its way through the walls of the base like tissue paper. It would slaughter the strange blue creature that had seen its face. I swear, destroy it, and shy leave guy's just down. indestructible at this point. He's just... Sonic was already speeding away. His and and there's a way to kill him, but, truly him, but, speed, just... but he truly but couldn't run. It is just you know unstoppable. Look over his shoulder away. revealed a distant white dot behind him. It couldn't be, could it? He was moving yep. so fast that the normal eye couldn't perceive him. So how could any living being possibly even be that far behind him? This monster really is built different, huh? He said to himself. Yep. The shy guy was gaining speed behind him. He couldn't even see Sonic, but he could sense his distant presence. The one who'd looked at him, the source of his rage. This strange little blue creature was certainly fast, but unlike Sonic, 096 was literally incapable of getting tired. The turtle always beat the hare in the end, and it would be the same uh, here eventually. That's true, Sonic but... was smart enough to know that he probably couldn't beat something like this in a fight, especially if it had literally annihilated Dr. Robotnik. If he had any hope of beating this beast, he'd need to get some friends on his side before things went truly south. Exactly, in order to Sonic take him was down. For here was Tails, a flying two-tailed fox who was also one of Sonic's closest friends, who lived. Here he is, so kill too. Tails, Tails! Sonic yelled at breakneck speed. What's wrong, Sonic? Tails asked, visibly concerned. No time to fully explain. There's something after me, some kind of monster, Sonic said. Get everyone you can. We're gonna need all the help we can get if we want to stop this thing. Before Tails could even get another word in, Sonic tore off again in the opposite direction. If this thing was following him, he didn't want to lead him straight to Tails. But the last thing Sonic was expecting was that the monster had somehow closed the distance, and now it was heading right for him. Sonic oh boy! To course correct. A long, wiry arm shot outwards and whacked Sonic in the side of the head, sending him skidding across the grass. The shock of an enemy catching up to him like this rattled him even more than the pain of the hit. There was no time to dwell. Come on, Sonic! Sonic looked up from the ground. You can do this! Guy barreling towards him, bellowing go, 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 go! He's... The dirt. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Sonic said. Just before the shy guy's nope. claws reached him, He's Sonic got out of the way at the speed of light. Even then, the shy guy seemed in to have an innate sense of his location. There was no way to trick or outrun the shy guy. It just kept running, no matter what. It was utterly relentless. If Sonic wanted to survive while Tails found reinforcements, he needed to fight back. Before the shy guy could lunge for him, Sonic lunged for the shy guy at impossible speeds, kicking the monster in the chest with both feet. The force of the kick, charged by super speed, sent shy guy rolling back across the dirt. Dang. Sonic hoped that this attack might incapacitate it, but no. The shy guy immediately rose to its hands and only stunned him ready to go again. For the first time in quite some time, Sonic was afraid. Thankfully, this time, he wasn't alone. The shy guy prepared to lunge when a spiked fist collided with the side of his face, laying the beast out temporarily. It was Knuckles the Echidna, a powerful pugilist who also acted as the guardian of the Master Emerald. The yep, Chaos Emerald, at least good thing we have a, the, the muscle, emeralds. you know, if Knuckles, Knuckles you, you know, he's super you strong. Believe, you're gonna feel it. Tails called me. Is this ugly punk giving you trouble, Sonic? Knuckles asked. Yep, as the shy definitely guy is the one. Back up. It's oh, dang! Face it's not Bruce. Itself. Oh, you yeah. have no idea, yeah, yeah. Sonic said. Too, so Sonic yeah. and Knuckles were now taking on the Shy Guy two-on-one, making things a little more even. But they were still up against a ruthless, savage killer without compare. And now, Knuckles had seen its face, too. The Shy yep. Guy leaped forward, trying to grab Knuckles with Man, his grasping claws. You both. Sonic darted in just in time and grabbed Knuckles out of the way. As the Shy Guy grasped at the empty air, Knuckles jumped in and gave the screaming monster another mighty punch. The sheer force of it left the creature wobbling on its feet, but it still wasn't enough. Lucky yep. for Sonic and Knuckles, they he's going to keep uh, fighting back until guns. he kills his, uh, Literally. you know, victim. Bullet no, suddenly so. perforated the shy guy's body, distracting the monster. It turned oh, Shadow! Into another one of Sonic's allies, Shadow the Hedgehog, wielding a yeah, boy! assault rifle. He was wearing a devious smirk. Oh, Can't wait for to come up. Well, I'm not sure he's going to help out though. That your actions have consequences. Having attacked the shy guy, Shadow the Hedgehog was added to his kill list. It seemed he was making a lot of new enemies today in this strange new place. But there was still yep. one more ally left to come. 
Suddenly, the shy guy felt a presence behind him, as though someone had just teleported there. It was a purple creature, similar to Sonic, though far more extreme, named Cold Steel the Hedgehog. He was wielding a desert eagle in each hand. Huh, <laughs> nothing personnel, kid. Cold Steel I heard him, though. Unless he might be in OC, though. Move, Cold Steel turned and unloaded the magazines of his two pistols into the Shy Guy, while Shadow provided suppressing fire with his M16. He gives me, he gives me like, some WWE, like, you know, vibes, though, to be time honest. Shy like, guy attempted to attack one of them, Shadow Sonic sped in and pulled them out the of harm's way. Uh, they were at the same time, with the vibes of Shadow the Hedgehog, too, since he's a whole Shy Guy so, yeah. was temporarily incapacitated. Looks like he's down, but not for long, Sonic said. It's time to finish this. That's when Tails descended, his arms filled with the last the thing they needed. Chaos Arrow Super Sonic! The Chaos Emeralds. And with Unless the they're all gonna go super. Emerald, they could send this abomination back to wherever it came oh, from and can. never worry about it again. With the power of the Chaos Emeralds, there was another almighty flash, just like the one that had brought the monster here. When the smoke cleared, the monster was gone, returned to the place from whence it came. Sonic sighed and said, well, at least we don't have to deal with Dr. Robotnik anymore. That's true. That's like classic Sonic, not like Martin Sonic. Researcher so. today. Now go and watch another entry from the... That's true that we don't have to deal with, you know, him anymore, but still. And Dr. Robotnik, but still, dang. But there will be still enemies that are going after you and your friends, Sonic. So, you gotta be careful. Who we... There's early silver as well. I mean, no silvers in the future. He, yeah, I can think he caused all of that. You know, some kind of problem in the future. And, uh, let's see there. Sorry, my young. Um, let's see what else. There's the rogues. And there is, yeah, there's a lot of enemies. It's not me, but, you know, still. He manages it. Just, you know, beat them, you know, and all. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that was today's uh, reaction video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to the next upload. Don't forget to share your social media files on social media help my channel grow. And anyway, hope you all have a nice day tonight, and I'll see y'all next video. Stay kicking, everyone. Bye.